Hello friends. In this session, let's see how to use merge join transformation in Dataflow task uh, to merge two different sheets or two different sources. So here merge join is useful to combine columns from two different sources. So merge and union all is useful to combine rows, to append rows from different sources. Whereas merge join is useful to merge columns from two different sources. So in our case here, I have two sources. One is flat file source and another one is Excel source. So I have to merge uh, employee with employee performance. So I need to merge these two sources so that I will see ID, name, role, and performance score of that employee in one output. Okay, so let's see how to use merge join uh, for this type of task. Now go to SSIS package and add new package to the designer. Now go to SSIS toolbox and drag Dataflow task into the designer. Now open Dataflow task and try to configure your source connections. Now, first source connection is flat file source and open new browse and select CSV open now columns and make sure all the columns here and OK. Now columns. OK. Now close this SSS toolbox and configure second source Excel and double click now a new browse employee performance open open and sheet columns okay so when we are working with flat file source especially so by default it it can't detect the column data types correctly okay if you notice the ID column is an integer type, but the flat file source is detecting as a string. So it don't have that capability to detect uh, the columns based on the source data automatically. Whereas when we work with Excel source or any other database source connections, uh, the data types of source data automatically uh, detects and aligned properly. But whereas when we work with flat file source, the data types and lengths doesn't align correctly. So in that case, when we try to merge, when we try to use merge, merge join or any type of joins between these sources, we have to make sure uh, the column data types are aligning, aligned correctly. So let's try to um, check the source columns in the both the sources and try to align it uh, correctly. So open Excel source and go to columns and check employee ID data type here. So it is showing flow data type and employee performance score showing flow data type, right? So click OK. Now make sure flat file source also has that data type. Go to advanced data and inputs and output ID and change this to integer because we know that that is an integer that's not a float right okay so let's make it integer i4 integer and name is string that is right and role is string which is right name might have more characters than 50 so let's make it 500 and role might have more characters than 50 and change that to 500 so we have to align it correctly before we join so that's a good practice and otherwise we end up with some errors after that and we have to come back and modify the settings like that. Now click OK. Now go to Excel source and show advanced editor, input, Excel output, output, employee ID and change this data type to integer now. I4, okay. Now performance score is float, which is right. We sometimes might receive in float and click OK. Now go to exercise toolbox again and go to transformations and uh, use match join now. Now let's map the first 
source input is left input ok and the right input ok now what happens when we try to open match join now so it gives an error because we have to match and match join allows only sorted sources so we have to set sorted property true and sort key position one any one of the columns okay uh, it basically used that column for joining purpose to join between these sources it use that sorted key column as a key column to join these two sources now click ok and go back to sources show advanced editor and input and output flat file source output mark it as true is sorted mark it as true now go to actual output columns and mark mark any one of the column as sort key position one you can also use multiple columns as a sort key if you want to make all the three columns as sorted out so you can mark two for name and three for role now click ok now go to excel source show advanced editor and follow the same go to input output properties and excel source mark it as sorted and then go to output columns employee id mark it as one now click ok now double click so that it allows so now you see joining on id column so join is selected on id column because that has sort key as one order you can also join based on the name but it uh, uh, it's already mapped so it's not allowing and the order is not set right so that's why now click ok and uh, if you notice join type its main advan its main important thing here so let's uh, uh, let's see what options we have in join type like we see in the sql server or any database sql language it also shows inner join left outer join and full outer join inner join means if we want only match records from the source and destination then we have to use inner join if we want all the records from the left and only match records from the right then we have to use left outer join full outer join means when we want both the uh, data from left and right uh, in the output then we need to select full outer join it's a uh, pretty much like sql query joins now in this case let's see in a join now my output i i want my output to have four columns right id name role and performance score so let's select only the required columns because employee id has the same information as id so i don't want duplicate or same information again as a new column so i have, i didn't choose that one i chose only whatever i need so i've combined performance score with the source now click ok so we, have, we are almost done now let's uh, take any dummy transformation just to verify uh, our data is merging correctly as we need or not or when or to check uh, the error if it throws any error like that now let's uh, just take multicast as a dummy task here okay and uh, enable data viewer for this so it shows the data output of match join now let's to execute the package so it has some errors right so let's go to progress and verify why it's failed uh, it's failed because of acquire connection method call is failed so because 
if the 64 bit driver is not installed run the package in 32 bit so sometimes when we work with excel and we don't have the respective drivers on the system we see these kind of errors so uh, so let's verify with uh, another type so let's run this package using 32 bit so how to make this package as 32 bit so let's uh, right click on the exercise practice go to properties and configuration and uh, general um, okay debugging now run 64 bit runtime let's make this to false so now it allows uh, 32 bit runtime as well okay so click ok now so now let's try to execute the package again So executed successfully and it is showing data viewer uh, so id is uh, joined with the source columns right so we can now uh, map this output to a report another excel report or csv report or any destination table or or direct email output input sorry okay so yeah so this is how we can use this merge join in SSIS package to combine two different sources and merge join allows only to combine two sources not more than two okay so this is how we use merge join and uh, please comment if you have any questions and uh, please like share subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and these are only the basics I am just covering uh, SSIS basic in this series and uh, and you will get I will be preparing to make more videos more advanced videos on this SSIS so please subscribe if you like uh, my videos thanks for watching my video